set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calorie. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Williams fields it at the 17. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. That's some daylight. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. the 41 yard line so he keeps it and he gets a big first down the quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch he saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game he's at the 30 he makes his way out to about the 25. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. From the 25-yard line, first down. Give to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 27. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Nice run to the left there. down and they need to get it to the 15. Come on. Mike four, Mike four. Ready. 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 Gets it out. He's met immediately. That's a loss of about five. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Trying to take the lead by a field goal. It has the distance. And it's good! They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. From their own 30-yard line, second down. They go to the left for a nice game. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Quick pass. Brought down at the 46. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's into the open field. Gains a 
his way to the 36-yard line. That brings in second and nine. up a first down on that carry yeah a good job up front by the offensive line they picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage from the 29 yard line it's first down he gets out to about the 17 yard line seven-yard line. It's second, in inches. it's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's tackled right around the six-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They're at the six. It's second down. Gives it up the gut. He's knocked out of bounds just outside the goal line. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. That makes his third and goal. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. He was looking at the tight end the whole way there. Yeah, the quarterback has to be careful of telegraphing the throw. But hey, it worked. They scored anyway. He makes the PAT. It was an 11-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. So the score now, 7-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Williams takes it at the 16. They'll bring him down at the 30. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Midfield at the 30 to the 20. He goes down at the 13. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and 10. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Panthers lead 7-3. action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Mike Moore, Mike Moore. Let's go. They bring him down in the backfield. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. Third and 12. Ball on the 15-yard line. Great 
great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it worth it. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Run play, and he'll lose yards. From their own 34-yard line, second down. Pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's at the 40. He's at the 30 for the 20. The 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. He's had no problem finding running room today. That makes it 100 yards. The game plan they devised has been working fantastically. And nowhere has that been more evident than in the rushing number. Tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to the opponent's territory. Tackle at the 31. That's a game of the That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. off to the right straight ahead for two yards and with that they pick up the first down this halfback showed great fight there on the counter play he knew just how far he had to go to pick up the first down and he's taken down at the 41 so it's second down and about two yards to go the ball right and he has it on the corner he takes it right side for a good game Second and five, ball on the 47. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see these back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. They'll bring him down around the 47-yard line.
yards for the tight end, but they can't hook up. I love to see a confident quarterback, but you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Whoa, he just took a licking. Big stop by the defense. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's at the 40. And he's taken down at the 25. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Let's see if they can build off that great run. Makes the catch and look out inside the ten. Tackle made around the seven yard line. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Nice run up the middle. The Panthers use their second timeout. It's second and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Setting up play action. Play action pass. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Throws complete. He's hammered. A pickup of five. Not a bad play. They gained five yards out of it. And they keep moving the defense back. Second down and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. One thing about this quarterback is when the play breaks down, he has a way of improvising and getting positive yards. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially... When the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he throws it away. That was incomplete, and it looked exactly like their last pass. It was exact same play, and I think the offensive coordinator just tried to pull a fast one. From their own 37-yard line. Third down. That's a great tackle at the 30-yard line. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Looking for the corner. He makes it out to midfield. The Panthers' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Oh, 
Stepping up. He sheds it. And this one falls incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. And they make the stop at the 20. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Yeah, there's not much room there for the ball carrier. The safety did a nice job of stepping up from the secondary and made a good stop before he could get many yards. So at the end of the half, the Panthers lead 21-6. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The first half was a clinic in the running game. Not only were the double teams executed properly by the offensive line, they reached the second level. A pretty demoralizing first half for the defense. Yeah, because stopping the run's about being physical. And so you know that it's man on man, and you got to push that other guy back. And when you're getting pushed around consistently, and then you go, okay, they're killing us with the run. We got to come up. We got to bring an extra guy in the box. And they're still destroying you. Absolutely, 100%. It becomes psychological, and you got to find ways to stop the run because that's the easiest play to do. They they're not even having to pass the football, Reese. They're just being able to run it over and over and over again. And if I'm them, I keep running the money play, which which has been the running game the whole first half. And, and it's going to continue to be successful unless you man up and start getting some penetration. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Tries to get around the corner. Steps out of bounds, right around the 40. And that right there was a pretty good kick return. So we're just about ready to return to action. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. There's a play fake. Fires it out. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Number 19 on the tackle at the 43-yard line. First down. Let's go, D. run and he's brought down that brings him second and five it's second down five to go ball on the 38 yard line he's at the 20 and he finds his tight end wide open he's all the way home touchdown the uprights with the extra point they line up to kick this one away excellent kick and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback the Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football Kirk yeah they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now they don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Little handoff. He 
he's tackled at the 23-yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 23-yard line, second down. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He rifles it to the left. They looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. That makes it fourth and long. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Brought down around the 40-yard line. That's a game of three on the way. That makes it second and six. Throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. He'll get the call again. And he is drilled at the 32-yard line. And he just made it past the first down line. Boy, big play there, Brad, on third down. Good job of running the football there. off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. From the 36 yard line, second down. gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Brad, do you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback in an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And down he goes at the 22. Second it's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 22. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down. Washington gains about two yards on the scramble. His wide receiver tackle around the 36 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He makes it out to maybe the 39 yard line. Williams 
gets about a yard on the play. Third down. And here's another third down. He's on the run. And he dives forward. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. He fights forward to around midfield. A gain of a yard and the quarterback keeper. This is the eighth play of this drive. So with one quarter remaining, the Panthers lead 28-6. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. throw and he's taken down at the 40 yard line this is the ninth play of this drive get to that quicker they'll bring him down at the 29 First down, 10 to go. Ball in the 29. He scrambled. And they got it. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. And I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. This is the 11th play of this drive. My four, my four. Caught with room to work. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That'll bring up third and eight. And this is the 12th play of the drive. What a play, and that is first and goal. Well, they're living on the edge here a little bit, but, you know, they're converting when they have to. first down and they'll be looking for six points here now he tries to buy some time tackle made at the six this is the 14th play of this drive And he's got it. And he's level at the one yard line. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Less than three minutes in the game. They run it and they got him before he could score. You keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Cavalry's coming. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. What are you doing? 
Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They'll give it off here. Gets out to around the 22. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. That's a DD4 That makes it second and six. Here's the line. Here's the line. Third two. Third two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 280. Hands it off. Gets to about the 27 yard line. That's a good for a game of one yard. That'll bring up third. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. some space to work with but that never happened on this kid I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle but I seriously doubt we're gonna see one today it's rid of it quickly and that was almost picked yeah the quarterbacks breathing a huge sign of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception second down 10 yards to go ball on the 36 yard line Green pass. He's got his half back. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second and ten. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Here's an opening. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. The offense calls a timeout, and that was their last timeout. to his back and he's got him again and he hits him hard at the 36 yard line the Panthers coaching staff Kirk do they start wondering hey uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today well I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game but I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver I think that would be a big mistake that's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.